just um, last one was international houses. Yes, yeah, so this is episode five, and the theme of this one is, I mean, we're just at this point, we're just looking at fun houses, but these are all pretty unique, crazy kind of houses that are going to make you go, wow. I mean, I hope I have sort of pre-curated them, like I've curated a list of these houses where I looked at them for like only a few seconds. I really haven't seen these houses, which are they going to be a surprise for me too, but I have them so that there won't be any like weird surprises where I'm like, oh, this house is a dud or this tour doesn't work like we've run into. So I think I've got eight houses. We're going to start with this one in Puerto Rico. And yes, the houses are international today. So we'll have some in the United States. We'll have some outside of the United States. Um, and not too many international ones. I think most are in America because that's where a lot of the really weird houses are. No one builds a weird house like an American. So these houses may make you say, wow because they're so weird, or wow, because they're so cool. Let's find out. This is, like I said, in Puerto Rico, and it is six million US dollars. It's a four bedroom, uh, four baths, well, four full baths and three partials. The interior is 3,800 square feet. Not massive, not, not huge, um, but it is on almost an acre, well, three quarters of an acre. And let's... Let's start. Let's do her. Welcome to Hacienda Le Chavo, which I, I feel like, you know, a house is really cool and, like, expensive when it has a name for the house. So, this is the view from the front. I think that this is behind the front door. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Someone said, commented something funny in the last video, like, if you have to ask, how do I get into this home, you know, it's like too expensive for you, and I can't agree more. When I'm like, where's the front door? Is this the front door? Then, you know, it's like so out of your element. Sorry, I just had to make Leia come in and, and sit with me. Her head is like right here. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can see her. She's just underneath the camera. Okay, Leia. Wow. Let's see if we 
this geography that well to say that I'm American. This was built in 1984. Tulok Nakrain, the height or the ridge in the sun. All right, are you guys ready to see it? Now this house is huge, so I'm not sure if I skip through it kind of quickly. My apologies, but there's just so much house to cover, and I don't want this video to be like three hours long. <laughs> Even if you would love that, maybe you would. Maybe you would get bored. Okay, let's see inside. This house is so freaking enormous. You guys have no idea. Well, you do know because you saw it's 30,000 square feet. But just then when they showed me, you know, and they fly you in and they show you kind of the full thing, I'm like, what did I just see? You guys are not ready. This isn't the house, by the way. You know, the one I was just like, this isn't it. You'll know. First thought is, oof, and this wallpaper. I mean, I know that the house was built in the 80s, but have they not touched it since the 80s? I think no. It's like a... No, I, I'm pretty sure this is the front door, because this looked like that big kind of cardboard that I saw in the first image. Um, so it's kind of fascinating that there's like a playroom right off the front door and do you guys have the creeps because I have the creeps right now I do not like this I there's something about houses from the 70s and 80s and maybe even maybe even the 90s depends they just give me the creeps I'm so sorry I I think I've seen too many spooky films set in those kind of era houses um, to the point where I'm now conditioned to find them creepy but like the wood paneling and all that I find it creepy and that kids playroom creepy there's a possessed doll in there what is going on this is the entrance where am I okay right off the bat I feel like I'm in a restaurant. Do you get restaurant vibes? I have restaurant vibes. Why is what is this architectural detail up here? Why why is it like this? Who designed this house? What is happening? Such a such a stark one eighty from the last house that was like clean, minimalist, brutalist means nature, modern, clean, to like absolute confusing eighties wood. What the heck is is happening in there? I am just absolutely baffled. Oh, there's a weird painting up there. Yeah, for some reason, I'm just, like, reminded of, like, an old restaurant or something. I... I don't know. That's odd. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a single-family home. It feels like a... Which they thought it was 
excuses and I like this isn't me trying to be silly or trying to this is my genuine natural reactions to this weird house <laughs> I'm losing it in retrospect I should have known it was bad when the first room we came across was some sort of like haunted playroom <laughs> I like more quilts this is okay this is nice this is probably the only nice part of the house you get a view of what your escape may look like if you manage to escape the 1980s and escape this house. It really just serves to taunt you there because there is no escape and you will never leave this house. You will be stuck in this time capsule for the rest of your life, doomed to roam these halls and play the fruit machines in the fake pub. I, I'm just like, why are there so many rooms with quilts in them? Is this the master? Have we finally reached the master? Oh my gosh, nice view. But... Tubular, man. The, the way old bedrooms have just like a bar, like cabinetry in them is like so weird to me. Also, what is going on with the beds? Because I feel like all of the are much, much, much more modern than everything else, and like, it looks like it's, I guess it's not, but it looks like it's covering up cabinetry. Like, another bed was built to go in there, but they replaced it with the more modern bed, which just makes me think, like, before these people moved out, was there more modern furniture in here? I feel like... I feel like no, because if you were going to put modern furniture in it, you would probably like at least re-wallpaper it or put different kind of, is that two different kinds of carpet? Is that two different kinds of carpet? I just want to bring your attention to this bathroom though, everybody. What was it with like the 80s and the 90s and just putting mirrors in everywhere? No offense, but was everybody really vain back then? I do not like looking at myself this much. Uh. <laughs> I'm so confused by all the closets. Oh, and this one goes back out there, and there's just so many doors, and always in this place that I am increasingly baffled. Oh, and now we're back in the hall. Okay, one more floor to go, everybody. Let's just see how cursed the... Oh, it's a Norman Rockwell. No wonder. <sighs> That's a nice view. Yeah. This room is okay. I think I just like it because there's books in it. Wow, I wonder how old some of these books are. Wow, they really like Norman Rockwell. What is it with this house and these creepy spaces? They like, they really want you to know, hey, there's a lot of creepiness. It's a lot of National Geographic. I just, I couldn't live in this house knowing how many opportunities there are for creepiness like this. What's this? What's this room? There's so many creepy closets and attics and basements here that where a creepy person could be living. I don't want to be reminded that creepy people Oh, there's like roof access here. Overall, this house is a negative 20 out of 10 for me. <laughs> um, I just, like, I, I still don't really fully know what happened. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, did we really just live this together? Did we really just live this? horror film together. 
crazy two bedrooms of course 5,000 square feet my house is like a fraction of that like most people's houses and I still have more than two bedrooms <laughs> all right I can't wait let's let's look inside this thing it's called the grand penthouse millennium tower and I found the lifts the elevators so I figured that's a good place to start okay a lot of exit signs I guess I take it leading stairs you'd have to go down to since this is the penthouse Whoa. oh my gosh this is cool wow books I'm really really intrigued by the ceiling it's so unique interesting ceiling really sets a house apart from being like a normal home to a luxurious home because anyone can have a flat ceiling I have a very flat ceiling you probably have a flat ceiling above you it's such an unnecessary fancy detail to have like texture in your Use of like 
there's also the house inside with more glass double glass that's so odd right see all these houses are so unique let's go and do the main house <laughs> that was weird it's so confusing right it's a double layered home have you ever seen a double layered home before you have now
notice with this lighting rig I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen a setup like this it's kind of fascinating and you have like sauna or something no just like a, a bathroom and then what was back here did we see no okay um okay this is much less creepy than in the last place to be honest way less creepy we're going to costco i recognize that thing of worcestershire <laughs> i've seen that thing of worcestershire but i barely go through the worcestershire that i have to warrant buying the double pack worcestershire i'm just saying worcestershire as many times as i can because people always joke about not being able to say that word and i think it's funny just ask a brit to tell you and they will make sure you say it right okay Let's go to the top floor. Is this made out of like real panels of bark? I think it is. Okay, these people love the outdoors maybe a bit too much. Crank is welcome. I knew it. I knew it. Comedy, miscellaneous comedy. As movies in there. What's it say over here? Thriller. It's a little, oh, this section is for the fan girl. Ah, that's so cute. Some, some of these big giant mansion homes, they don't feel really cozy. Like, they feel a bit sterile. They've got a karaoke machine set up. They've got like a little window seat. They've got a movie, like boxes of films for the kids. This place is very comfy in a six million dollars kind of way. Oh, oh, they've put in one of those blackboard walls, looks like, so the kids can draw on it. I bet the grandkids have so much fun staying here and playing up here. I really like that they've turned this into a play. And here's their rooms, I bet, for when they stay.
are so odd. They're so out of place. See, this is one of the girls' rooms. Absolutely, this doesn't surprise me in the slightest. They have a little balcony. I can't go over there, but... Oh, can I? Yes. See? Balcony. That's a kid's room, right? That's absolutely... With, with like, a, a seating room outside the bedroom. Absolutely, that doesn't surprise me at all. In a window seat. This is so many little girls. Fantasy room, I feel like. The window seat. The window seat was absolutely like a must have for me. Like that was something I desperately wanted. And I asked for when, when my parents moved when I was a kid. And um, we built a house. I asked, they said, like, is there anything you want to request? I was like, I said, would it be possible if I could get a window seat somewhere? Because I wanted to sit and read. So they made me like this like window seat thing upstairs. And um, it also like doubled as storage, which I thought was quite clever. Like underneath the cushion, you could lift up the things. And this is quite the computer setup. So I kind of wonder what these people do. I got a mic. I think that if you're a good sleuth, which I can be a good sleuth, but I don't feel like sleuthing today, you could work out who these people are, what they do. Given like the location, the photos maybe, it definitely, oh my gosh, these are all awards. Sometimes I just feel like people don't really care about their privacy very much, because like, all this information is out there for anyone to see in these 3D doors, and as someone that really values their privacy, like, that really freaks me out, you know? If I were to ever put my house up for sale, uh, and have, like, some, and they, and they do a 3D door of my house, like, I would be putting up my, my, all my YouTube stuff, like, right, right next to the camera here is my black, with my channel name on it. I would be taking down, like, photos, like, I would, I wouldn't be leaving a single trace, so yeah, I hate to break it to you guys, but if I ever sell my house, you're not gonna be able to tell it's my house unless you like are really good at recognizing stuff. But I actually did at one point see a house that I think a content creator lived in. Just based on their room that had all the stuff set up. They had like an X on the floor where they were they would stand for being on camera. They had a controller. I think they maybe played games too. It was just interesting. It wasn't necessarily like a famous looking room that you would have recognized. This is so extra of a bathroom area. Wait, is this the woman who lives here? I have so many questions. Do you guys recognize her? I, I don't recognize her. Lays whacking her tail in her sleep. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> She's asleep. <laughs> oh wow, the closet is. Uh... Oh my gosh, the closet. What the 
still have an amazing house yet to go. We're back in Nevada. We're actually in Las Vegas for another apartment. It's a $14 million apartment, and I think it is on the strip. I can see the Luxor in, the, in that photo there. So, this is, uh, it's fit for royalty. Oh, and it's 8,000 square feet. Built in 2006. Okay, it says a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like right next to the Bellagio fountains. If you don't know what those are, the Bellagio is a famous hotel in the Strip in Las Vegas that's known for its fountain show. And you stand outside and you watch the fountain and light show. So I take it this is like so close to it that you can maybe see it. Well, I can't see it in this photo, but anyway. Let's see what the views are. stop mid-sentence. Um, I think that this is the entrance based on the door and all that, and, um, you'll see why I've picked this apartment in just a second as I turn around. Are you ready? Prepare yourself. Prepare your eyes.
laundry room, which is probably the most normal looking uh, room in this whole place. I haven't found the master yet, but we found a sauna. That's a weird, why does it say sun?
place. You reckon that was Leonardo DiCaprio's place? I don't know, but I think that even if it was, it, I, I don't think that he was necessarily the last person who owned it. So you can check out this website if you're interested in reading more about it yourself, but otherwise we're going to move on to the next place. All right, we're in Queensland, Australia at Hamilton Beach for our tropical beachy looking house of the day. We don't know how much it is, unfortunately, because it's the only one that we don't actually know, so unlike the last video, which it felt like all of them were price upon request, and we don't even know how big it is. We just know that it's got eight bedrooms, and it's pretty outrageous. It's on this little island, Hamilton Island, right there. Zoom in out. Let's go see inside, shall we? Okay, the property doesn't look outrageously big, so I think we should be able to see a lot of it. This is like the driveway. It's really nice, it's very secluded, and over here you can even see like room for buggies, and it looks like some laundry over there. But here is the entrance, kind of simple, and you step down into this very nice, lovely, open space. Here is kitchen. It's quite simple. I don't like that microwave because it seems like a hassle to go down there. Normally when I see I like an under-the-counter microwave, it's one of those drawer ones where, uh, you know, you pull it out and then you put something in it, but that clearly looks like a opening sideways microwave, like most microwaves, which I think, I think would be very annoying. But look here. This looks like it is one of those special hydro tabs zip hydro tab i don't know if this is the exact one but i've seen some of these that can offer like instant boiling water like you just click on this and boiling water comes out immediately for making tea or putting one in your pot or something like that i see them they also come out regular faucets like that and some of them can even do carbonated water sparkling water which um some people would definitely be into. I wonder if this is a vacation home, given the little sign next to it that has to explain how it works. Just a thought. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous sparkling pool. Oh my gosh, someone is keeping that pool very clean. Very, very clean. Let's pop over here. I spy a bedroom. It's, uh, yeah, I think this is like a cute little seating area. It looks kind of comfy. Look out at the pool. Look at the gorgeous islands around Australia. And oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Are those wind turbines off in the distance? This looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. I mean, kind of jaw droppingly beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes, please. I would like to take a bath there. Okay. I like all the wood. The nice light wood. Um, go to the other side. Come on. Here we go. More living space. Right there's where you can sit and watch a movie and a little bar area and a dining table. And it opens out onto this big giant Because they're supposed to 
using this property as before. All the rooms look identical. Um, I think there's more room over here. Or people renting out, like, the whole house. Where were those stairs, even? Oh, look at them. Like a giant Connect Four. That's really fun. People definitely, like, paying to stay here while they're on their vacation. The art is very, like, simple. It's still an absolutely stunning property, though. Even if it's not really meant to be a residence, sometimes vacation homes are, like, ooh, so nice. Like, I cannot get over the view. It's so beautiful. I guess technically, if you buy it, you can do whatever you want with it, so you can make it your your private residence. It's got a gym. Nice. So people can use the little gym while they're on vacation. Even if, I feel like most people kind of lose weight when they go on vacation. I guess it depends on what kind of holiday you're doing, but when I go on holiday, I'm usually walking around a ton. Maybe I'm swimming, depending on where I go. Uh, like when I went to Iceland, I was hiking all the time. Like, I feel as if I am much more active on vacation than I am in my normal day-to-day -day life. Maybe you agree. It's just also the kind of person I am that I feel like I get to relax. Uh, I enjoy my relaxation at home. So if I'm out and about, I don't necessarily want to relax there. I'd rather be seeing stuff. I'd rather relax at home. That's where I'm most comfortable. Does that make sense? Like, I wouldn't go... Oh my gosh, there's more rooms down here. I wouldn't go on a holiday to relax. Even if relaxation happens. i go... Yeah, that sounds like I'm not relaxing on a holiday. That's not what I mean. Because um, I've been on holidays where, like, I was in a hammock on the beach and I fell asleep and I was drinking, like, a fruity strawberry drink and I was reading a book. Like, that was relaxing. Someone's playing guitar. It was so lovely. It was one of the best naps I've ever had. I don't mean like that, but I just mean that aside from that, then I'm also swim I was also swimming in the ocean before that, and I went, uh, kayaking in the ocean and for a bike ride, and I was on the same day, so I was tired. You can do both, I think. I think you can relax, and you can be active all on your vacation together. This house was not what I was expecting it to be. Like, from this original floor, especially from, like, this, when you entered in, it felt, like, way more, a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This doesn't look particularly big. That also explains why the kitchen isn't huge. So I feel like this house was built to be a rental vacation property. It wasn't necessarily built for living. Whoa, I hate when it does that. But I think you could live here, and I think it would be fun. I like it. Yeah. Alright, there's only one more home left, and it is the home. Now, it is not on Sotheby's, which is where I am right now. It is on Zillow, and I, I checked to see if it was on Sotheby's. This house fits the theme of, like, you know, really cool, crazy, unique houses so much that I thought of it when I was putting, picking out these houses. Um, I've seen it before when I was doing my own personal, like, having fun. You know, I show you where, like, I go, like, for most expensive properties at 30 doors. I came across this one a few months ago. And it is so wild. I have to show it to you guys. So I am going to... I don't want to reveal anything about the house. So I'm going to jump straight into the 3D door and then tell you about the house, okay? Welcome to the last house. It is $10 million. And it is located in sunny Reunion, Florida. Which, at first, you may be like, where the heck is Reunion? Like me. Um, if you look on the map, it is right next to this little attraction you may have heard of called Disney World. Uh, so, that may explain the price point a little bit. Now, this is definitely one of those rental vacation properties, like the last one we looked at. But... This one is pretty unique, uh, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna get into it. So, this is, oh, this is the front door. Sorry, yeah, front door. Um, you've got bedrooms, and, you know, because, like, this is, like, a vacation property, each bedroom is decorated kind of blandly, but kind of nice, and they all, I think, have their own bathroom, which is really nice. I mean, that's definitely, like, a giveaway of a, of a vacation home, I feel like. How often have you been in a home where every single one has an ensuite bathroom? That's pretty rare, right? So, on 
they've also got like satellite remotes in um and all the all the TVs going down into like the main whoa <laughs> my main space I, you know it's been decorated like very an interior decorator came in and set this place up and little bar area here here is the kitchen which has oh my god how many refrigerators is this what part is fridge and what part is freezer there's just so much us wild okay stuff to make your coffee and all that and um how many people are cooking here i wonder you know like if you're staying here while you're on vacation if i was like doing a giant vacation to disney world i feel like i wouldn't be wanting to cook i don't know yeah how, that's another vacation theme thing how often do you cook while you're on vacation i feel like me almost never because i'm out trying local restaurants things that are highly rated and yeah okay so you can see there is a pool and we'll, we'll look at pictures of the pool area later because it's pretty cool but not as cool as that texas place i feel like um and then where how do i get upstairs i know that there's i'm stuck oh great i got stuck but anyway living upstairs you can see all the neighbors great all the people that you know probably like live there rather than vacation so is this like landing and another little coffee section which makes sense for the people who are staying up here and don't want to traipse downstairs am i stuck again oh my gosh oh, i'm stuck again i don't know why some doors are like this i just checked the the 3d like map thing and for some reason those rooms were not included in the door so i i, I don't know why but there were rooms there uh here's another this one has a really nice bathroom yeah i feel like whoever is staying in those like downstairs tiny rooms with the tiny bathrooms they drew the short end of the stick when you could have like a full standing bathtub right um check it out there is a little private gym which is deceptively small like just i think because it's mirrored makes it look a lot bigger than it is you know um but there's a couple of treadmills and like what is this what is this one? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, another bedroom. It said that there are 10 bedrooms in this place. So you and 9 to like 19 or whatever of your closest friends, if there's a two in a room, you could all stay at this place. Well, not right now because it's for sale, but maybe you could all go in on buying this place together. I mean, if, let's say, 10 bedrooms, let's say there's like two people in each bedroom, if you split 10 million 20 ways, you actually get a great deal. Yeah, like, it, it's not, not too bad of a deal for, for all this. <laughs> then you'd have to, you just have to share with like 19 other people, you know, that would be... Okay, well, to be fair, this one can fit four people, so you're, it, yeah, the cost just keeps going down. I wonder if you could get it down to like everyone everyone puts in like 50k and gets this house <laughs> kaboom so yeah as you can see there's a lot of theming this sent me down a rabbit hole this house of weird like disney uh vacation homes and there are some wild ones out there like there is this whole booming business of people who buy and renovate homes in in this area i guess in reunion or just outside disney um for people you know like wealthy people to come stay but this one blows the others out of the water this one is without a doubt the most wild one you will see another like really big bathroom it's got like the waterfall shower and a, a private balcony so this one is pretty good okay um, hey, we got a guy, we got a guy, <laughs> we got a person, uh, regrettably, apparently I missed a person in one of, one of them, um, I was going back and rewatching.
mention it after I posted it and I missed the person so I'm so sorry okay there's one more top floor and then you're probably wondering at this point you're like Allison's house isn't like isn't that weird it's not that crazy like it just looked like a big kind of expensive home oh my friends <laughs> you've seen nothing you've only seen half the home so this is the top floor and it's basically a full arcade Thank you. 
boxes I've ever seen before. So there's the laser tag zone, or yeah, laser tag, and then there's like, this is the like laser maze, I, I take it, I don't know. Uh, and then the Camp Morlando room. It's just, oh, and then don't forget, you you've probably already, like me, forgotten about the movie theater and the, like, the fun rooms. Go out here and play table tennis, go play foosball. It's like a little butt play golf thing there, giant connect four darts. Like, this is for you to go to, like, Universal or Disney World or something, but, like, I feel like the vacation is here in this house. Is it not? Here's some pictures from Zillow, so you've got the lazy river, and you can, like, walk on this little bridge. I mean, I think the kids would have so much fun just in this pool area. I mean, they have, like, little jets. Wow, okay, this, here's the room with three different slides, including a curly slide. It's absolutely bonkers. Scar, you could like hide behind. How much fun would you have? Come on, even as an adult, wouldn't you have a blast here? Oh, here's the like laser maze. Oh, so it's one of those where you have to like not touch the laser. I don't fully understand, but I mean, that stuff makes this Dave and Buster's kind of room look like nothing, right? It's it's so crazy. Although, I love ski ball, I would definitely be up here playing ski ball. Yeah, so what part of this house did you think was the most cool? The most outrageous? And do you think it's a good deal? Like, it's, yes, it's, what, there was a sauna, we missed that, we missed the sauna. Um, yeah, it's meant to be an investment property, of course, what, this isn't, they must have, like, remodeled or something, because this looks totally different. Have they remodeled it? That's so weird. Lazy River, private 
sale here so this is definitely like yeah okay this is like 